So why did medieval and ancient Africans all over Africa use mud bricks to build their cities? Mud bricks primarily made of clay hold insightful advantages. Clay is an easily available resource in sub-Saharan Africa and economically sensible. It's durable and can last hundreds of years. Yes, it's not as durable as stone, but it's perfect for a city that changes and evolves often. Fireproof, mud bricks are fireproof, and unlike wood, they don't catch fire. In an often hot and dry place like Africa, this is an important advantage. It's a natural thermal insulant. If you've ever lived in a brick house in summer, you know AC is a must. Well, Africans were cooling their houses naturally with clay bricks. It's also breathable. Mud bricks are also pest resistant. That is incredibly important in hot and humid climates, especially those prone to malaria. They are very versatile and allow for a wide range of architecture. And medieval Africans took full advantage of that. Yet, another advantage is that you don't need to destroy your forest to build your cities. Other advantages, they are easy to install and easy to acquire the masonry skills for. They reduce noise, they require less energy to produce, and they can be recycled in new projects. Even today, modern dwellings use economically sensible materials for building common dwellings, like wood. In fact, all over Africa, there is a trend to go back to clay bricks. The pernicious idea that medieval Africans using mud bricks to build was backwards, was intentionally spread to reduce African achievement and ingenuity. Yes, many of the sumptuous African mud bricks architectures have been erased by the prolonged rainfall and colonization's culture eradication efforts, however, that does not mean that these structures didn't or do not still exist. Who wants to have a beautiful palace that you can never stay in because it is too hot or has too many bugs? Follow us, and see how those who are said to be without history, birth civilization itself.